hear uh, you folks in the balcony? Can you hear me okay? Okay, good. We want to make sure our microphones work uh, and make sure everybody has a good time. Uh, welcome to Improv in the Park with the Stevie Ray's Improv Company. I'm your host, Stevie Ray. How many of you, uh, by applause, have been to an Improv in the Park show in the past? Woo! Oh, wow. Good. That was uh, 38%. Okay, uh, how many of you, is this your first time seeing any kind of an improv show at all? By applause. So most of you have seen improv, okay. Uh, perfect. Um, we started, uh, Stevie Ray's Improv Company started in 1989, and uh, so this is our 35th year of bringing laughter to the Twin Cities. Thank you. And. It was a long time ago in 1992 that we were talking to some colleagues and we they said, what's your biggest challenge? And we said, trying to get an audience to come into our comedy cabaret in the summertime. And they said, where would you be in the summer if you weren't doing your show? And we said, probably at a park somewhere. So, we said, so they said, let me adjust. So they said, if you don't want to be inside, why are you trying to drag other people inside? Why don't you go to the park? One of our troop members said, well, there's such a thing as Shakespeare in the park. Why don't we do improv in the park? And in true accepting fashion, I looked at that troop member and said, yeah, right. <laughs> and then in true male fashion, the very next week, I came to class and said, I've got a brilliant idea. <laughs> And that was 1992, and we did improv in the park every Sunday, all summer long, June, July, and August, uh, for at least, I think, 18 years. Uh, and then uh, circumstances got so busy, we just couldn't do it on a regular basis. So we thought, for our 35th year, let's bring it back for two special showings in this summer. So we're doing tonight here, obviously, and then July 19th, uh, which park is it? Do you remember? Water... Waterworks. Water Park. Thank you. Thank you, audience, who knows my job better than me. <laughs> so, uh, so, for those of you who are new to improv, we're going to ask you for ideas. We're going to create instant comedy out of those ideas. Um, Stevie Ray's has always preferred to do comedy without any offensive content no innuendo and no profanity. So obviously we want to keep to that tradition here in the park. If you feel like yelling on something a little bit off color or dirty, ah, don't. <laughs> because I just won't hear you. And speaking of hearing you, we're not in an enclosed space. So when I ask you for ideas, uh, you're gonna to need to call them up pretty loudly or I might come out there every now and then just to make sure that everybody gets a chance to play along so we can hear you. Um, when we first started doing improv in the park, um, we did it here at Loring Park and then at the Kenwood uh, Lake, uh, Lake of the Isles, Kenwood Park, uh, Rose Garden, many different places. This was before social media. Uh, it, my stepdaughter, who's 20, uh, thinks that it was probably before the wheel uh, when I first started. So to get an audience, we literally had to run by people who were jogging and people on bikes and say, we got a comedy show, come over and see it. We would usually start with about 10 or 12 people, but the laughter and applause would cause more people to say, hey, what's going on over there? Let's go see, and we'd end up with twice as many people. So if you laugh and applaud loudly, you'll get more folks to come over and uh, it will be more fun, okay? So let's meet our troop. We have about 20 different troop members at Stevie Ray's that perform uh, in various shows at our cabaret. We're located at the Jan Hansen Dinner Theaters uh, every Friday and Saturday year round. And we have had performers with us for decades and some brand new. And we love to get new talent to the stage to mix in with the veterans and make a show out of it. So we'll tell you a little bit more about them as we go along. But first of all, let's welcome Brett Williams to the stage. Carl Olson. Caroline Hitch. AJ Kickers. Billy Smith. Okay, uh, so let's start out. Uh, let's 
let's just start off by telling some jokes, okay? And I should tell you this, um, when I host an improv show, I never let the troupe know what this is going to be in the show. We don't discuss it beforehand. There's dozens of improvs that I just pull out of my memory and we see how they work. Uh, so these folks don't know what I'm going to be asking them to do tonight. Some things I ask them to do, they're very familiar with. Other things, we try to give them a little surprise. Uh, so let's start off with some jokes. The joke goes like this. 185 guys walk into a bar. That's a typical start to a joke. But you are going to tell us who's going into the bar, and then we are going to have to come up with punchlines for who is going in the bar. So, for instance, sir here with the white cap, can I ask what you do? Professional retiree. You're, re you're, you're <laughs> being paid to retire? Okay, yeah. so you're, you're a politician. Um, <laughs> what did you do before retiring? How many know that's more than I wanted to know? <laughs> <laughs> you are a production manager? Planner. 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 There's a difference. Yeah. Get it right. I was not a manager. All right. Okay. <laughs> a production planner. So um, we're going to start off with the wacky job of 185 production planners going into a bar, and we'll see if the troop can come up with punchlines for that. So 185 production planners walk into a bar. Bartender says, we do not serve production planners here. The 185 production planners say, thank you so much. We weren't going to actually drink here today. We were just planning our future trip, and now we know not to go. <laughs> 185 production planners walk into a bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve production planners, because, you know, first we've got to get the beer, and then we got to bring it to you, and then charge you. <laughs> And then the production planners say, you don't have to make a production out of it. <laughs> okay. Something else. Give me another uh, profession or type chef. of... What's that? A chef. A chef? Yeah. 185 chefs. 185 chefs walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve chefs here. Chefs say, we just came in to stir things up. Yeah. 185 chefs walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve chefs. And the chef said, you're getting up in my grill. Yeah. 185 chefs walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve chefs here. The chefs say, sorry, I'm just seeing what's cooking. 185 chefs walk up to a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve chefs here. The chefs say, cut it out. <laughs> now, you are allowed to applaud for the jokes. Okay, you're not allowed to do what I heard, which is, uh. <laughs> We can drag you up here and try this. Right. Give me another 185. Inspector. In, in, inspectors. What we got? Okay, inspector. inspector. 185 inspectors walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve inspectors here. Inspectors say, well, you should have sure locked your door. <laughs> Okay, that's all there is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, 185. Zookeeper. Zookeeper. 185 zookeepers walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve zookeepers. And the zookeeper said, uh, it's good that you're behind bars. <laughs> 185 zookeepers walk into a bar. Bartender says, we do not serve zookeepers here. 185 zookeepers say, you know what, that's fine. This place is a mess. It looks like an animal house. 185 zookeepers walk into the bar. The bartender says, we do not serve zookeepers here. And the zookeeper said, oh, we were actually pretty hungry. Do you have any Panda Express? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still got it. <laughs> 185 zookeepers walk into the bar. The bartender Why are you lying? Uh, 185 bartenders. Bartenders. 
25 bartenders walk into a bar. Bartender says, we do not serve bartenders here. Bartenders say, sorry for the mix up. <laughs> 185 bartenders walk into a bar. And the bartender says, we don't serve bartenders. And the 185 bartenders said, we don't serve bartenders. And the, and the bartender said, we don't serve bartenders. <laughs> a favor by not continuing that. Uh, if you know Carl, he would have done it. Uh, one more from over here, 185. Plumbers. Plumbers. 185 plumbers walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve plumbers here. The plumbers say, well, we're going to go to the number one bar because you're just the number two. Oh. <laughs> 195 plumbers walk into the bar. The bartender says, we don't like plumbers. We don't serve them here. And the plumbers say, oh, that's okay. We don't like you joint anyway. <laughs> See, the men know that's funny. 185 plumbers walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve plumbers. And the plumber said, are you serious? Check out these pipes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>